Good morning, what's going on guys? Starting the day out here in the truck. I'm actually getting ready to put the boat in the water here on Lake Gunnersville today. Of course, I live super close to Gunnersville, as you guys know. So I like to spend a bunch of time out here. I like to come out, you know, I don't know, two to three times a week usually, uh, just depending on my schedule. But it's so close, I, I just love to get out here on the water and learn. Gunnersville is so diverse, you can always do something kind of different. Uh, today, the plan of attack going into the day is throw the Alabama rig on active target probably a jerk bait on active target but the key to today I would really really like to show you guys some really cool stuff on active target um, we'll see I don't know I mean it's fishing you guys know how that goes it can always be different so uh, that's the uh, the goal in mind at least we'll see when we get out there sort of what what happens it's uh, what almost 7 30 in the morning gonna fish probably all day so hopefully get some good uh, fish catches and some good footage for you guys and if you enjoy as always hit the like button and if you're not already subscribe to the channel guys it doesn't take you but a second and it helps me out I appreciate it it helps motivate me to make more videos and put out better content so appreciate you guys and without further ado let's go whack on some bass Not a bad one to start. So that was pretty interesting, guys. I uh, I picked up that jerk bait and I threw it out there and I was watching these fish. You can actually see them. There are three of them on there right now, directly under the boat. They just followed this guy in. But, well, actually they followed the jerk bait in and they weren't really going after it at all. And I had this little swim bait on this Nishine head. This is a two seventh ounce with the two aught owner hook this hook got them really really good perfect hook set but i threw it out there it's just a little less intimidating than that that jerk bait it's a little smaller a little more subtle and uh that guy got it first cast in there with that little swim bait so i don't know found in found in three quarter probably it's got a weird little scar on his side there anyway decent little probably keeper fish i bet he's a 15 incher get them back here really quick oh yeah 15 and a quarter 15 and a half incher so a decent little keeper to start the day we'll take them get them back thanks buddy so that was on the small 2.8 swim bait on the little jig head let's try that again so they're sitting out here in about 12 to 14 feet of water on this break and I just slowly wound, you know, wound that swim bait down there on top of that rock and grass and whatever else is down there, trying to keep it up off the bottom. That was my first throw in there with the swim bait. Maybe this is something that I'm going to want today. I threw the A rig in there a few times and didn't even get touched, so 
There might be something to that just single swim bait that you know is a little less intimidating, like I said. Be interesting to see if it keeps working. Giant, giant bass. Huge. Gigundamo. There's a little bit better one. Oh yeah. Might be a spotted bass, guys. Get up in here. Oh yeah, it's a nice spotted bass. Check that out. <laughs> That's a quality spot. That's like a two and a quarter pound spot on the uh, Nishine smelt head. Absolutely pinned them. Just working it down the edge of this rock. A little 2.8 swim bait. Nice, look at that spot. That's a pretty spotted bass. Heck yeah, guys. I bet that's close to, I don't know, two and a quarter, two and a half pounds. It's pretty thick. Sweet. Let's get that guy back. See if we can get another one. Chunky spotted bass. Thanks, buddy. All right, all right. That's number four. Two little bitty guys, but I'll take those two quality fish any day of the week. There's another one, guys. Another spot, I think. Very next cast. Yeah, it is another spot. Nice. A little smaller for sure, but still a chunky little guy. Maybe like a pound or so. On the same thing, very next cast. Cool. There's a bunch more down there. I don't know if there's any big ones, but we'll catch a few more and see if we can come up with a big one. Under the boat again. I think it's another spot. I found a school of spots. That's another chunk. Found a little school of spotted bass. That's pretty cool. Super healthy fish. Man, that's a healthy fish. Built. Oh my gosh, is he thick. There's a whole bunch of them down there. It's interesting. I'm throwing out here pretty far in front of the boat and winding it down. I don't know if you guys can hear me with the road right over my head, but I'm casting, as you can see, real far out and winding it down. But almost every one of these bites I'm getting is like within 10 feet of the boat. It's really strange. I don't know why they're not biting it out there. Maybe they're just gravitated towards where I'm sitting. Maybe I need to back up more. I don't know. Caught that one solid spot, and then those two after that were kind of smaller, but that's three spotted bass almost in a row.
little tiny guy on the jerk bait. Man, is he small. I don't know if you guys can see that on the screen right there, but there's like two of them on, three of them on the jerk bait. A couple of them look big. They're right under the boat. I don't know if they're going to buy it. No, nah, they're not reacting to it. Ten feet away from the boat. Yeah, they don't, they don't want it. Okay, that's interesting. We just caught one and then we had three of them follow it in. I don't know why I keep spot locking. So they're out there. Now there's a few under the boat because I just drew them in with the bait. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> oh, what a giant. I don't know why there are so many bass in Gunnersville right now this size. I guess it means they had a good spawn, but it's just kind of concerning that they're still around and not getting eaten. And they're out here on these points and humps and all these other kind of more bigger fish type areas. Strange. There's a good one, guys. There we go. There we go. Stay on there, fish. I can't tell how big it is. I don't think it's real big, but it's definitely a solid one. Come on now. Can't really see it. Oh yeah, not bad. He's coming spiraling in, just like little ones. Come on, dude, fight. Come on, you're bigger than six inches. Give me a fight. Decent little guy. Got that front hook, that's always a good sign. Weird stubby little bass. I'm not gonna complain about him though. He's got every single treble in his freaking side. Got that one in his mouth. He wasn't coming off in a week. Might be another keeper, I don't know. Might be a 15 incher. He's not much more than that though. Stubby little guy, thanks buddy. Guys, I killed the air rig for one second to itch my face. <laughs> and that big old bucket mouth smoked it. Oh man, it stopped that rig. That's a four pounder. 
She should be a little freaking bigger. She's pretty skinny. <sighs> nice, nice. Finally got a big one. Heck yeah, guys. Rig's all kinds of messed up. Get her unhooked. Deal with the rig in a second. That's a good one. On the uh, Alabama rig, this is a bladed rig. And I've got, I believe I've got two eighth ounce head, or no, three eighth ounce heads and two sixteenth ounce heads. And I've got the TZ on the back, the Yambler TZ. But that's a quality fish right there, guys. That's a four, four and a half pounder probably. Kind of beat up, kind of skinny looking fish, but that's a good quality fish right there. Curious to see what she weighs. I'll give her some water really quick while we get this scale going. That fish took me off guard. It must have been following it off that rock over there. And uh, I stopped it. It's kind of weird. I stopped it for a second to itch my face. And she smoked it right when I stopped it. I felt her just, it felt like I ran into something or it felt like it just got stuck on a log down there. But I was active targeting over there and I knew there wasn't any kind of log or anything. Oh yeah, guys, that's a nice fish. It's a little bigger than I thought. 440, almost 4, well, 436. Yep, 436. It's a nice one. It's a real nice one. Can I get a picture really fast? And then uh, get this girl back. Just trying to run around and try new areas. Try to approach it a little differently. Try not to get stuck in my uh, ways of how I've caught them in the past. And it uh, paid off with a quality fish. So let's get her back. Thanks, girl. Thanks for biting. So that's, I think, our 11th or 12th fish today. 11th, I think. Definitely by far the biggest, though. All right, I think she's ready to go. Thanks, fish. Yep, there she goes. Back down to the bottom. Sweet, guys. All right, let's get another one. Got another good one, guys. Unfortunately, this one doesn't look like it got it in the mouth. Oh, no, it did. That's another quality fish, guys. Just these other two got them in the bottom, but that fish did get that top bait. Let's see. That fish did get that bait in the mouth. That's another good quality fish, guys. That's probably another four pounder on the Alabama rig again. That one's a lot better looking fish, much fatter. Let's get a weight on it. I'm just kidding. That fish was up shallow on the rocks. Oh my gosh, it's the same exact size as that other one. Well, bigger actually. 445. Alright guys, it's interesting because that fish is definitely shorter than that first one, but you can just tell it's been feeding up much, much healthier, much, much fatter than that first one. If that first one had this kind of a gut, it would have been a five pounder. Heck yeah guys, let's get this one back. A couple of nice fish on the A-Rig. That's definitely, I would way rather get less bites and get these bites than uh, get those dinky bites all day. She's ready to go. There she goes. Oh, she was mean. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. Oh man, that's awesome. Check my line. Make sure it's okay. I'm just gonna retie it just because. Got those two fish on it. 
unfortunately a lot of the times what happens is you'll have a fish come up and eat one of these baits and then the other baits are just flailing around and especially when I'm throwing it with five hooks like you can here in Alabama and uh, those hooks will end up sticking that fish in the side or in the you know side of the head or various other places on its body which unfortunately is not my favorite thing to do I, I don't love that about the Alabama rig but you know it does get bites that other baits won't especially around these bridges it just mimics a school of shad so perfectly and yeah unfortunately that just kind of happens sometimes but that was a nice fish that's another good quality fish um, baits look like they're doing all right hooks are okay let's get back out there catch another one so guys i'm gonna make a slight adjustment i'm actually going to put three more of the alewife color tz's on the rig instead of these three uh, what color is that called let's see and that other one is called blue pearl silver it's a good looking color but i think it's i don't know it's it maybe it's a little bright um you know granted i think they will bite it i mean i've had two fish in this area that have smoked the rig and not gotten hooked so it's making me think maybe a color change and the other thing that's kind of cluing me into changing colors is the fact that both those four pounders ate the uh alewife colored tz so i'm gonna switch it out put the whole rig with these alewife colored ones on there just to see i know there's some fish around here i'm able to see some on active target i'm able to uh kind of watch my rig come in every once in a while and, and see a fish or two following it and i've had those couple bites that i've missed so i know there's some fish in the area that I'm not getting to fully commit. So let's make a slight adjustment. It doesn't really seem like these fish are responding to much else besides the A-Rig. So make an adjustment with my rig and hopefully it'll pay off with another big one or two. Be nice to catch another four, four pounder or a couple more. I know they're down here, I've seen a bunch active target so anyway we're gonna rig this up got one more bait to thread on there and we'll be ready to sling it back out there and see how they respond so one piece of advice I could give you guys for when you're fishing for fish like this that are pretty pressured I mean this is an obvious spot these fish are definitely getting fished for especially this time of the year and it's no secret that the Alabama rig works good this time of the year especially on these bridges so You've got to try to separate yourself and that's part of the reason why i'm throwing really small baits on the rig i think it's a little less intimidating than a big bait and a lot of the shad they're eating are very small this time of the year another thing you can see me doing is changing angles constantly i'm constantly trying to position the boat in a way to where i can get a cast that's maybe a little different than the average guy um, reposition on fish that you know that are already there just utilize your you know ability to move around and ability to position differently to your advantage i mean don't just think because i came through and got that bite going that other direction but that spot's burnt and done even though we got close to those fish a lot of the times they'll stay where they're at you can kind of turn around reposition change angles maybe give them 10 or 15 minutes but sometimes you can just turn right around and throw back in there from a different direction and they will act like they've never seen your bait before so Definitely keep that in mind, guys. Angles, 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 angles. Super important. There he is, guys. Right as I was saying that. I think it's a spot. Oh, yeah. It's a chunky spot. What is up with catching all these nice spots today? Definitely take it. I guess he's not as big as I thought. I thought he was a little bit bigger, but he's still a quality fish. Probably a pound and a half spotted bass. Super healthy, pretty fish. That just proves exactly what I was talking about, guys. I literally just threw over here, I don't know, five or six times. I had that one bump it and not get a hook. Turned around, put the pro motor on 100, got down the bank, changed angles on them, and first throw back in there. I felt him kind of push it. Wasn't 100% sure if it was a fish. Kept it going, and he came back and smoked it. Ooh, guys, I just pulled up to this bluff right here. And I made a short roll cast to the to the bluff with the A-Rig and I watched it with active target. And I had two 
what looked like really big fish follow it out. Definitely bass. I could tell they were bass just by the way they were interested in the rig. And they looked very big. I could see the whole outline of the fish, so this might be promising. Okay, we're gonna catch this fish. There he is, guys. That's a good one, too. Yeah, buddy. That's a three-pounder, and there are so many more like that down there. That is what's up. Maybe not quite a three, but man, that's a nice, healthy fish. Super, super pretty lateral line on that fish. Look at how clean that thing is. Thanks, fish. All right, guys, I think we just found them. I think we just found them. I've had a bunch of them fall with the A-Rig in right here. And I can see an absolute plethora of them on active target, just kind of scattered down this rock. Got it. Try a jig in these trees. Once we've kind of fished in here with the A-Rig, not going to change it now just because that was quick. That was a nice quality fish. Oh, I can see the end of the tree up there going to the bank. There he is, guys. Yep, we're on him now. We're on him now. That's another good one. Might be a spot. I think it's a spot. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, I'm catching the chunky spots today. Look how fat that little dude is. He's really not that little. He's got a tiny mouth. Look how fat that thing is. That's like probably close to two pounds. <laughs> That's a football. Man, that thing's so solid. Nice. All right, let's get back out there. We're, we're dialing them in, guys. This is super fun. Oh, I just had another one follow it in. So you guys can see right there on the screen what I'm talking about. See this fish under the boat? And then you, you could just see a couple out here. There's one there, but like two or three of them followed it in. And then what they do is they just, they just dip off and they sit under the freaking boat. Did you guys see that? That was super cool. He barely even knows he's hooked. Another chunk. That fish ate it right under the trolling motor. Super cool. Two and a quarter, probably. Two, two and a quarter. Catching them pretty good today on the on the rig. Super fun. There he is, guys. Oh, it's a big one. Get up in here. Whew. Working on them today. That is what's up. That is what's up. I was trying to find that bait for you on active target, guys, but I couldn't, I couldn't find it. It was too close to the bank. I think a lot of these fish are committing to the bait better when it's right up against the rocks, but Man, that fish is beat up. Look at his tail. It's all like, I don't know, that is weird. It's like totally just shredded on the end. Huh. Kind of a gnarly looking fish. I'll take him now. He smoked that rig. It's interesting, guys. I made the switch to the Alewife colored uh, swim baits, the TZs on that rig. And I don't know if it's just location. I'm sure they would bite that uh, other color just fine, but seems like they really like that color. Oh yeah, that's a good one. 310. So like between three and three and a quarter. It's kind of skinny. Could be definitely three and a half, three and three quarter, but it's a little skinny. But hey, that's all right. We will take it. 
good quality fish. So weird with the tail. I've never, I'm sure I've seen that before, but not very often. It's almost like it's bleeding, like it's spawning maybe? No way. Huh. Strange. Anyway, thanks fish. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I had a great time out here today. Caught a bunch of fish, caught more than I was expecting. I was hoping to catch a few. Hopefully, you know, was hoping to catch a couple of good ones and caught a whole bunch. I don't know how many fish I'm going to end up showing you guys on camera, but I ended up probably catching 25 to 30 fish. And the majority of them came on that guy right there, that Alabama rig. That's actually a homemade bladed rig that I made. This was an old rig that I had laying around and I actually opened the wires up and put some blades on there. That's a whole nother ball of wax. That took me some time, but I got some Gambler goat heads on there. I've got three eighth ounce and I've got two 16th ounce and then I've got five TZs, which the TZ is a tiny little three inch swim bait that Gambler makes. So if you guys are looking to catch fish on Gunnersville or anywhere where there's a bunch of shad right now, that guy right there is hard to beat, especially with those small swim baits on there. And you guys also saw um, probably a few fish catches on just a single swim bait. That was just a 2.8 Kitek on a 2 7th ounce Nishine smelt head. And that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna make this more of just like a raw fishing content type of video. So hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll catch you next time on another episode of Jacob Wall Fishing.